Why am I why am I peeking around the corner like a little kid? So we got a throw in the dining room and what's supposed to be the living room and to the top of the hallway where I'm standing. Uh, she's a bad girl and I'm late to the party on her. Let's go talk about it. Before we talk about it, we got to dig through the archives. You know, like the DJ, dig through the records. We need her fraternal twin. She over here somewhere. Where you at? There you go, boo. There's another one. I got a total of six. Y'all said she's similar. Let's go see. Sweet lime, champagne, and sugar cane makes up champagne margarita. Now, this candle was definitely hyped all over social media, among the other influencers and things like that. And I had two that I never touched. I just love the cold throw. So it prompted me to order two more. So now I have a total of four. So as part of March Madness, I'm like, Dig into the crates. Dig into one of these ones you have not touched. Primarily, you've seen everybody else talk about. Y'all, she's given. She's given me Sunday fun day down in Midtown Charlotte at one of those patio brunches where you got some kind of champagne margarita. I've never seen a champagne margarita. Let's just say a mimosa and we've done spiked it with margarita. You got the lime. Actually, no. Let's just say a margarita and we done spiked it with our homegirl that ordered champagne to make her a mimosa. We done snatched some of her champagne and drop it in our glass because we trying to get our buzz on because we out here. We we in these streets. Um, We outside. And to stand back there and to get a clear throw across my dining room, you are a winner in my book. So, Frosted Moscow Mule says sweet lime, lemon zest, and sugar cane. So, we have the sweet lime, the sugar cane, and champagne. Similar enough to me, not the same, but similar. The champagne margarita is more limey based. Champagne margarita is that lime base that's an island margarita times the champagne note that we get in Bubbly Rosé. That champagne note we get in champagne toast. And let's merge that bad boy all together. And here we are. And we can't really call it a repackage. Again, it's similar to this, but it's not this. This gives me more of that Moscow Mule that has like, for some reason, the lemon zest in this give me a fizziness. And the lime in this is not as loud and pronounced as a la margarita. So if you check my channel from the Candle Day 2020 reviews, um, 2021 reviews with these, I ramped and raved about it because this was on, I loved it. Like if I loved it on cold, I backed it up. And I backed this up with six of these and the hand soap. And a lot of people didn't get their hands on it, but I did. This one uh, was a straight eight as well. So if this is giving me like an eight, guess what? This is such a beautiful scent on the outside. How I normally come to you all and test in the beauty room. I don't even want to do that because like I said, I'm getting into my sunny weather scents. Uh, I prefer a little more girly, a little more dainty when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm getting diva five, when I want to feel like that chick, Right? So this would be the perfect living room, dining room, even sitting on top of my kitchen counter scent. But again, me and my girls, if y'all know Charlotte, we down at Ruby Rose getting brunch. We down in Noda walking around with our drinks in our hand, with our wristbands on. We living our best life. This is giving me all of that and then some. This is the perfect spring scent. And y'all forgive me because I don't know when this came out. It, it couldn't have been spring. I think this came out like the end of fall. But this is definitely living its best life with that limey margarita. Note. Or I don't remember. Maybe it was February. I don't know. But I know our store runs out of this. So when I saw the opportunity to order two more and it was available online, I did that with the sale. And then I forgot. Girl, you always shopping. You do got two of those. 
You just never tried it. And y'all, that happens. When you have a lot of candles and you're a reviewer, that's why I started doing like, what's up April, what's up March and stuff like that to give myself an order of operation. And then I'll rotate my candles out. So what will happen is this goes into rotation. This goes into the need to finish pile. So I already know March is going to be a slow month for me because I want to finish everything I started. And I'll be doggone. I'm going to pair this up, right, to finish filling out. Although I got a scrape eight, two Island Margarita singles on my kitchen counter would not be a bad thing. And that's the vibe I'm going to go with because I can get those free on rewards. I am digging it. The sun is shining. I'm outside. And I want y'all to be out there living y'all best life too. Get your girls and go to brunch because that's exactly what this is serving. And I'm going to see y'all on the next review. Bye.